All right, so there's a lot of questions around how to get a perfect line and how to use paint in a way that is crispy and clean. Well, there's no right answer to this. There's also no secret to how you paint or how you get a clean line. Really, it takes a lot of practice, but I do have some tips for you guys. So when it comes to painting, one thing I had to get good at was actually using a Sharpie, using a pen, using a pencil. So if you want to get better at painting and having a steady hand, I suggest that you do a lot more black pen work with the Sharpie and just getting really good at holding it steady and giving yourself some time to um, create lines and circles and things of that nature. Over time, once you get better at using your Sharpie and using your pen, then let's move over to painting try your hand out at creating a steady line with painting. Now they are definitely two different things. A paintbrush does not act the same as a pen, but I personally do hold my paintbrush the same as my pen and use the same mindset when I'm drawing with a Sharpie with my paintbrush. And that helps me to have a steady hand and helps me to create these clean looking lines. Now. Nobody is perfect. I don't care who they are. All these artists that paint black, crisp lines, nobody is perfect. And I know that every one of them, if they looked at their pieces, they could point out things that they would consider to be discrepancies and flaws. I know I definitely notice flaws within my painting, but you also have to realize it is a painting. Nothing is perfect. We are not computers. We are human beings and our hands do move in different crazy ways. Sometimes when I'm painting, actually most of the time I'm doing outlines, I barely breathe. I'm holding my breath, trying my hardest, and you'll even see it on my face if you ever see me live painting. I cringe sometimes when I'm doing black outlines because it is a little bit nerve wracking, but I like the look of it and I like kind of that aspect of trying to push yourself to be steady. So if you do want to do these crisp black outlines, Practice with a pen, practice with a Sharpie, get to a point where you feel you're comfortable and then trans over, transition over to a paintbrush. I'm not saying don't paint and use the Sharpie at the same time, definitely practice both at the same time. I'm just saying when you get really comfortable with a Sharpie and feel like you're a boss with a Sharpie, just hop over to a paintbrush, and use that same hand movement. Also, another thing that I tend to do to keep my hand steady is I use my pinky as a balance. So a lot of times you'll see me drawing and my pinky will be out and my pinky will drag alongside me. And that's just a way to keep my hand um, really steady and not go all over the place and not move over. It's kind of weird. I don't know if everybody does. I do feel that a lot of us artists probably do, but I know it's something that just naturally happened when I started doing more line work. There's also another trick to this crisp line work madness and that is cleaning up your line work. Now, when you do your line work, obviously it's just a crisp black line with your paintbrush. Sometimes you get a little bit of black paint that kind of spatters over or like you put too much black paint on your paintbrush and it tends to kind of bleed off the line and that just tends to happen. What you can do is try and save it with a little bit of water and kind of like flick that line that black off of it and like rub it off because with acrylic you can use water to wash off the paint you know when it's wet and it will go away or you can take the corresponding color that is next to the black and you can come back over it and just edge it along that line and it will kind of take it away so then it looks like a crisp line like i said there's many different ways to achieve this crisp look blah 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 in the end it really doesn't matter. Do art your own way. Yes, sir. You don't have to be the crispy, the cleanest artist. Nobody's perfect. Do whatever type of line quality work you want to. I'm just giving these tips out because people always ask me. But other than that, I personally don't care what your lines look like. They can be scribbly as, as all hell. I just like art in general. Um, if it's you doing art passionately and you love it, that's all that matters. You don't have to be the crispy cleanest artist to get into a gallery because these galleries don't really care about how clean your art looks. They want to make sure that 
you fit into their gallery standard, blah, blah, blah. So to be an artist, do what you love, have fun. Don't worry about the perfection of it. That's it.